Welcome to Bali. I just got here two days ago. It is Sunday morning and I left Los Angeles on Wednesday night at midnight. It wasn't too bad. I got to sleep and I'm so excited to be here. I haven't vlogged. I've just kind of settled in to my hotel and just kind of got my bearings. So now I am going out to explore a little Sunday fun day. I am having breakfast and I'm walking there. I decided not to get a scooter because the traffic here is just insane. And me on a scooter, I would probably crash and freak out. So I'm going to be walking everywhere, which is fine because it's so beautiful here. I am in Ubud right now and I'm here for a week and then I'm going to Seminyak and doing a Kantiki tour and then after that going back to Seminyak, staying at a few cool hotels that I'm very excited about and then heading back to LA in two weeks. So I will be vlogging and blogging this entire adventure and I'm so excited about it. This is my first time in Asia so it's definitely a different experience and I can't wait to embrace it all and take you guys along for the ride. Let's do this Sunday fun day. So I am heading to a restaurant called The Elephant and it's a bit of a walk but it's really pretty, so I've taken some footage to show you guys a bit. I just finished eating at the elephant which had beautiful views over the lush greenery and the food was so good. I've just been eating nasi goreng, which is fried rice. So I had like fried rice for breakfast yesterday and for dinner, but I came here. I got hot cakes, which are pancakes, and I got these potato pancake things with poached eggs and polenta fries and tangerine juice. So. I ate it all too. They thought it was crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, going to explore more. I am now almost to the center of Ubud. I have to walk over this really pretty bridge. Um, and that takes you to the center of Ubud where there's market and more restaurants and more little stores. So I'm heading there and walking over the river right now. It's beautiful, but it wobbles when you walk on it. And a lot of the boards are loose, so it's a bit scary. walking into the center of Ubud because there's a bunch of insects making noises and the walls are made of stone, moss growing on them, and greenery coming out of them, and it's just beautiful.
of the center of Ubu and the markets were fun. I didn't buy anything because I packed a carry-on and I can't fit any more things, but it was fun to watch people bargain because that's what you're supposed to do when you go. It's known that they charge crazy amount of prices. So I was watching people bargain, which was cool to see. What else? Got a gelato at a really cute place. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm walking uphill. Um, and yeah, if you're staying in Ubud, definitely go. It's a sight to see. Everyone's really nice. There's a lot of women selling sarongs because if you go into any of the sacred places, you have to cover up. So they'll try to get you to buy a sarong. Uh, I am heading back to my hotel. Okay, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm heading back to my hotel, which I haven't explained it to you guys. It's called Rome and it is a co-living space. So it's like a hotel, but they have a communal kitchen and communal activities, um, a lot of fun stuff to do, and it's in Ubud. So yeah, I'll show you a bit of that. Also, I don't wanna sugarcoat anything. When I first got here, it was a bit of a culture shock. Um, and it took some getting used to, about two days. So when I woke up this morning, I'm like, I'm gonna go explore. I'm gonna be very open to everything and check out Ubud and experience it. And just doing that alone really helped me get out of the culture shock um, because it's always scary traveling solo, um, especially when you're so far away from home. And so this was just a bit, um, yeah, a bit uneasy for me. But now that I've done it, I'm getting used to it and it only makes you that much more stronger and able to do hard things in life. And I mean, traveling, I can't say it's a hard thing and be ungrateful for that, but it is like tough to leave everyone behind and go travel and be on your own. But it's been really great. <laughs> There's some rooster. And the reason I chose to stay at Rome is because it is like a community, so I can meet people. And I met a few people yesterday, which was fun. And then next week, I'm going on a Kentucky tour. So that's gonna be with a bunch of people as well. So this is like my first solo traveling with people. next day and yesterday when I got back I just laid out by the pool I took some footage of the hotel which you've already seen and then I went to a ribs place which is really good I forgot to bring my camera um, but it was called Naughty Nuri's and it's famous for ribs and they cook them right there in front of you and they were delif delif and they were delicious. They just fell off the bone, so I really enjoyed those. And then I actually, <laughs> oh yeah. So I went for um, a Balinese massage at this little hut down the road from here. And I went with someone from here where I'm staying at Rome. And he was saying that uh, one of the girls who went before said that they like massaged her boobs and I didn't believe him. And then when we went, and she just pulls down the little towel that's on top of you and yeah, massaged my boobs. And it was very interesting. Um, I could not relax after that, but the massage was really good and it's only 12 US dollars. So that is a plus. Um, and today I am heading on a all day tour of Ubud. I have a driver that's taking me everywhere, so that's going to be fun. I'm very excited. I'm going to see everything you need to see in Ubud, 
and I am taking you guys along with me, of course, and it will be the best time. So, let's go! Right now, I am at Tagalalong, Tagalalong? Uh, rice terrace and it is the most famous rice terrace to visit one because it's huge and when the rice isn't harvested yet it's very green here and pretty so I'm walking through it right now so this is much larger than I thought it was and I'm walking through right now and <laughs> very hilly and very beautiful. Um, the rice isn't growing right now, so it's just um, mud that looks like this. And right now I am hiking through another side because about every three minutes of you walking, they want to um, charge you. They only accept 10,000 rupiah. And yeah, so it's so big, but every time you're walking, like, you'll end up spending like a hundred thousand rupiah just walking through it and it says suggested donation but it's not a suggested donation because they don't let you pass so I'm not going through all of the areas where you make a donation because this place is huge so this is what the little places look like that you have to walk through so if you come here you can walk through the whole thing if you want but once you're in one little section you've pretty much seen it all um, it's just the rice fields and hills and you can get great views from really wherever you are so I would suggest just walking through one of them and all of them Temple, which is a temple from the 11th century. Chirta Empu, which is a holy spring temple, and it's the springs I just showed you. Visitors come and they go underneath each fountain, and there is three reasons why, which I'm going to read to you. One is for cleaning bad or evil spirits, the second is for prosperity, and the third is for purifying the body and soul. So this has been around since... 962 AD and I'm not going in the water but it is very cool to watch everyone go in and they have to wear a certain sarong to be able to go in and there's a bunch of rules that you have to follow as well so yeah this is my last temple of the day and now we are off to the waterfall so I'm now in Pingliparan village 
which is very high in the mountains in Bali and I'm excited to see what it's about because a person at Rome told me to go to it as a tourist spot and I hadn't looked it up to see what to do here. So yeah, let's go. So inside all of these temples are houses and that is what the village is. Before I said we were heading to the waterfall, now we're heading to the waterfall. Hello! <laughs> hello. hello! 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 Say hello to my vlog! Hello! <laughs> this is Yoga! He's Hi. driving me around all day today. Just walking through. Gosh. We're almost there. We made it. Whoa. Hello. It is the following morning. And it's safe to say that I am terrible at ending my vlogs. <laughs> After uh, the waterfall, we came home. It took us about an hour because we were very deep in Bali. And then I just hung out with the people here and went to bed. So everything you saw today, um, let me try to pronounce everything, but it won't be pronounced right. The first thing was Tagalog Rice Terrace. And then it was the Bali Pulina, which is the coffee plantation. And then it was Gunu Kawi, which is one of the temples. And then it was the Holy Water Temple, which has a proper name, which I'll link right here. And then the last stop was, oh no, two more stops. And then we saw the village, Pingli, Pingli Puran village and then from there we went to the waterfall and i actually forgot the name of it let me check really quick it was tuka Chepung. chepung tuka chepung um so we saw a lot to yesterday which was very fun today i am just relaxing at the hotel going to get work done um and start editing this video together because if I put it off any longer then I'm gonna have days work to do so I'm kind of breaking it up to make it good so that's that if I do anything I will of course film it and I will see you guys later bye